you laid out a concept that if you tell somebody something that's untrue over and over and over again, mm -hmm. that they will start to believe it. Sure. So why doesn't that apply to the other side? If everything we said was true, it wouldn't just make for a stronger case. It would be a bombshell. Yeah. And, and, and the, the, the problem is that I don't think that necessarily all of the conspiracies are, are exactly what they are. That would be too easy to too easy to prove, maybe? I don't know. But but there's definitely some. We definitely know that you absolutely can transmit and get COVID once you're vaccinated. And that was a that was a a, a stark, you know, uh, uh, advertisement for the vaccine, whether it works or it doesn't, or it's good or it's bad or it's great science or it's mRNA or whatever. The fact is they lied. Oh and so- Or they learned over time that, you know, immunity decreases. Then they shouldn't have said, hey, you cannot get it in the first place. They should have said, we think that this, that, the, the other. When you say a thing that's not true, knowing that you don't know it, that's still at, at least dishonest yeah, it, if we're not gonna say a lie. But it can prevent you from getting sick right and i don't know a, i genuinely do not know i genuinely do not know everybody i know who's got the the the, the vax has uh, gotten covid and uh, most of the people who have i know who have never gotten covid including myself are not vaccinated so i do not know i do not know i genuinely do not know and the doctors and the 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 the, the who the fact is we're at, at such a point where you're right i don't know what i what what could be uh, uh, said to to get me to believe that all of the things that I know that they lied about, that they're either they didn't lie about them or that they completely stopped lying and they're never going to lie again. And so it's not necessarily about a, a, any one particular thing. It's grains of sand that makes the heap. And so when every single day with every single issue, we have semantic obfuscation, when we have a, a twisting of this. And again, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen on the other side. I'm just presenting the 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 position of why people are uh, uh, very uh, are, are willing to take the negatives of Trump over the positives of the establishment that we know and love. <laughs> the impression that I'm getting is basically just so long as you do such as Trump does and, and throw all the shit at the wall that you can, and if you can convince people of enough of it, then they will distrust who is political opposition is right? yeah exactly as much as if you throw all this stuff that may that says these people are right the court said it the uh, the government said it the new york post said it the t twitter said it the, then you can get people yeah, to believe that something is true that's that is not it is it's exactly the same thing we're well but but like these are actual institutions looking that's not what we're right. talking about you you laid out a concept that if you tell somebody something that's untrue over and over and over again mm -hmm. that they will start to believe it Sure. So why doesn't that apply to the other side? I think you would have to find something that wasn't really true. Right? Like, this comes back to the truth claims. No, it right? doesn't. It comes back to the perception of the truth claims. We're, it, beyond, we're beyond knowing the truth of the, 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 the matter on anything politics by it, 20 years. If repeating that's, something that's that a, isn't true only makes it true in perception then the fault of that is the person who's saying the untrue thing over and over, right? Yeah, I agree. And but, but that again, we've agreed that, that the media and politicians lie a lot. Over and over is somehow lying. Like, like you can repeat true claims and it's not equivalent to repeating lies. Like, like these are very different things and they rely on... Okay, but you're the, the one claiming what's a lie and what's not. We, 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 in, in, for the parameters of this conversation, per, the, the perception of many people is not knowing what's true or not. So the, the, we have to st so take a step back. And, if you are told lie, something, right? whether it's true or not, if you are told something over and over and over and over and over again, then you will believe it, whether it is the truth or whether it is a lie. And so right. if you can but say lie, people are told over and over and over and over and over and over and over that this is a lie, then they're going to believe it's a lie in the same way that you say you can trust Fauci, you can trust Biden, you can trust the establishment, you can trust politicians, you can trust the WHO, you can trust the courts, you can trust this person, you can trust that person, then they're going to believe that even if it's not true. The exact point that you just made. You're being brainwashed. But we can look into the things that these people are claiming, right? They look into the evidence sure. that, it, that is presented. But most people don't do that. If they are reliably they true, do that. Then... And they should, but they don't. And so the uh, politicians are not unaware that people don't pay attention. 
I agree with you that people should be better informed. That doesn't change the fact that they're not. So this will ask, wouldn't anyone throw all this stuff at the wall uh, they can if they had the fiscal means to do within the law uh, uh, in general? So far, I haven't seen Trump be convicted. I, and that's the other thing, too. Even if he is, uh, same thing, even if he is wrong, if he genuinely believes that the election was stolen because he's an egomaniac, which makes perfect sense to me, who the fuck else would run for president because Obama made fun of you at the, 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 the White House Correspondence Center? Then, again, if he does actually believe this, then he's going through all uh, uh, of the, the 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 legal processes, and yes, he's getting shut down. But but what uh, what's what's th that's what the legal system is for, and especially if it's uh, uh, skewed against him, then we would expect that he wouldn't get uh, uh, the 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 results that he wants. But those are the only legal uh, 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 paths, unless he you know has uh, uh, his section of the uh, the military and actually does an insurrection. Then then. You know what? What? What else? What else can he do? And again, that goes back to what I was saying before: is that no, at this point, there is nothing that you could tell. And that's why I said that at the beginning. I don't think there is any uh, uh, reason to try to get you to uh, uh, believe that Trump is a better option. What I'm trying to present is a reasonable perception that somebody else might have that they're not crazy, and also they think Trump is a better uh, 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 option. That's what we're doing here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.